Hi, my name is Lynn, the speaker godmother. I'll be reading from Sea Life. That looks like the fish on Finding Nemo. Hmm. The clownfish. Scientists refer to the tropical clownfish as the anemone fish. Their more familiar name comes from their clown-like markings and the way they seem to waddle in the water. Clownfish often nest in anemones, which have stinging tentacles. Before a clownfish moves in, it spends several hours or days gently touching the anemone's tentacles. Clownfish develops a layer of mucus that resists the sting. But the clownfish and the anemone benefit from each other. The anemone provides protection from the clownfish's predators. In turn, the clownfish feeds and cleans the anemone. All clownfish start life as males some change to females as they mature. Again, there's the picture. Dolph, aquatic mammals, dolphins, family line with small toothed whales, such as orcas, which are killer whales, sometimes called porpoises, blunt nosed whales. Dolphins use their powerful horizontal flukes, tail fins to propel them through or out of the water and their forefins and dorsal fin for steering. By constantly shedding their skin, dolphins don't accumulate barnacles or external parasites. Like whales, dolphins breathe air through a single dorsal blowhole. Dolphins can grow eight to nine feet in length and weigh 165 to 350 pounds. They eat mostly small fish, squid, and crustaceans. Hammerhead shark. Found in temperature, uh, temperate and tropical waters worldwide, hammerhead sharks migrate to cooler water through during the summer. Most hammerheads don't grow past 13, 14 feet in length, but the great hammerhead, the largest species, can grow up to 20 feet in length and weigh up to 1,000 pounds. With its eyes located on either side of its head, the hammerhead possesses a wide range of vision. In addition, it has a group of sensory organs that enables it to detect the electrical fields of prey animals, such as stingrays, its favorite meal. Did you know the unusual shape of the shark's head earns its name, hammerhead? Humpback whale. Humpback whales live worldwide, known for their whale songs. Humpbacks use sequences of moans, howls, high-pitched cries, and other noises to communicate with one another. These sounds can travel great distances and sometimes last for hours. Found near coastlines, humpbacks feed on plankton and small fish. They migrate annually from their summer homes near poles to warmer waters closer to the equator. The family, the, pardon me, the females and their calves arrive back at their summer homes before the males, often touching one another with their flippers as they swim. These sea mammals reach lengths of 48 to 62 feet and weigh up to 40 tons. Jellyfish. Jellyfish have no heart, bones, eyes, or brain. This ocean predator made up of 95% water, 
has a black belly or body, tentacles, and oral arms. The poisonous sting of a jellyfish ranges from mild to lethal. From the tiny Caribbean thimble jellyfish to Arctic's giant eight-foot lion's mane jellyfish, these sea creatures move in different ways. Some use a propulsion system. Others attach themselves to a material such as seaweed and float with the ocean's currents. Jellyfish rely on nerve cells to alert them to danger. They also have sensing organs that let them known, uh, know in, what, in which direction they are going, up or down. Pretty important in the ocean. Seahorse. Seahorses must eat almost constantly because they have no teeth, no stomach. These horse-headed fish grow from 0.6 inch to 14 inches in length and live in shallow, temperate to tropical seas. They mate for life. The female deposits her eggs into the male's pouch, which, where he fertilizes them. He carries the eggs until they hatch as fully formed miniature seahorses. Their body shape makes it difficult for them to swim. They propel themselves with a small fin on their back that flutters about 35 times per second. Small pectoral fins on the backs of their heads allow them to steer. Lionfish. The lionfish come from the reefs and rocky crevices of the Indo-Pacific they have found their way to other warm ocean areas worldwide. This poisonous fish's bold coloring, long pectoral fins and aggressive manner serve as a warning to predators. It often spreads its feathery pectoral fins to herd smaller fish into an area where it can more easily feed on them. Lionfish, also called turkey fish, dragonfish, and scorpion fish use their poisonous needle-like dorsal fins only to defend themselves. They grow from about 12 to 15 inches in length and weigh up to 2.6 pounds. That's more than two and a half pounds. Lobster. These 10-legged crustaceans closely related to shrimp and crabs live in all the world's oceans. Some also live in brackish, somewhat salty marshes near seawater and freshwater environments. Lobsters eat primarily fish and mollusks, but will also feed on algae and other plant life. Female lobsters carry their eggs under their abdomens, sometimes up for up to a year. I did not know that. They release them as larvae, which develops through several stages before becoming adults. Lobsters shed their skins continually as they grow. Some species of lobster can live to be 50 years old. Parents, did you know that? Manta ray. Mantas thrive in temp temperate, tropical, and subtropical waters. Habitats range from near shore to oceans where reefs and offshore islands exist. Mantas flap their large pectoral fins to navigate near the surface or midwaters around reefs and lagoons. Mantas can jump completely out of the water and then land with a splash, sometimes head first, tail first, or after a somersault. The males of this large species have a disc width of about 13 feet, females 16 and a half feet. They produce one pup per breeding season. Birth occurs in shallow waters. Marlin. Marlin, isn't that the flying fish? <laughs> 
Marlin, the common name for an open sea fish related to sailfish and swordfish, live in the waters of the Atlantic and Indo-Pacific Oceans. The best known type of marlin, the blue marlin, swims the Gulf of Stream all the way north to Long Island. Long Island is on the East Coast. They have a pronounced dorsal fin and a long upper jaw shaped like a spear. Females, which are larger than the males, often reach 14 feet in length and weigh almost a ton. Blue marlins migrate hundreds and even thousands of miles to follow warm ocean currents. They use their spears to kill their prey, which consists of mackerel, tuna, and occasionally a squid. Moorish Idol. The Moorish Idol lives in waters from Hawaii to Australia and from the west coast of Central America to the coast of Africa and the Red Sea. They grow to an average length of seven inches, though some grow as large as eight or nine inches. Moorish Idols prefer flat reefs and relatively shallow waters. 10 to 590 feet. They feed on sponges, tunicates, which are underwater sac-like filter feeders. And animals such as clams, crustaceans, and worms that live on the bottom of the ocean. These fish mate for life, often forming pairs or small schools. Octopus. Octopuses carry an inky substance in the folds of their body. They secrete it to confuse predators. Octopuses live on the bottom of shallow water and make their homes in holes or crevices. Sometimes they dig nests made of rocks. For about a week after mating, the female lays groups of grape-like eggs. She stays with the eggs until they hatch. About six weeks later, the larvae look like miniature adults. They can grow as long as 10 feet and weigh as much as 55 pounds. Impressive. Orca. Often called killer whales, orcas live in all the oceans of the world. The largest in the dolphin family Male orcas can grow as long as 32 feet and weigh up to nine tons. Females, maximum 23 feet and four tons. These marine mammals live in groups called pods, which consists of several females, their calves, one or more males, and often juveniles. That's the young people, the young mammals. Some offspring stay with their mother for life. Residential orcas, which stay in one location, have more stable family groups compared with migrating orca pods whose members come and go. Oyster. Oyster, a common name for various bivalve mollusks, includes the pearl oyster from which come pearls. Many people mistakenly believe that the oysters most prized for eating, called true oysters, also produce pearls. To feed, the oyster uses its gills to filter plankton from the water. True oysters have a central adductor, adductor muscle, a central scar on the shell that they use to attach themselves to objects. Adult oysters attach permanently to a hard surface early in their development and lack a foot. Oysters always attach themselves to their outer with their outer flared shell tilted upward so they can feed. Sea turtle. Sea turtles use their large flippers or forearms, to swim the oceans of the world, even near the poles. 
Most sea turtles live in tropical and semi-tropical regions. These large marine animals spend most of their lives submerged. However, they must surface to breathe. When they surface, they rapidly exhale and then inhale. This rapid exchange of oxygen permits them to make deep dives without trapping gases inside them. When sea turtles come ashore, they lay their eggs. The Ridley turtles, instead of nesting individually as do other species, come ashore as one large group, usually during the day. Sea urchin. The term sea urchin describes assorted spiky eschinoderms, the sea animals with water vascular systems, usually hard spiny skeletons and radial bodies. They have shells made up of five symmetrical parts of tightly fused plates. Rows of slender tube feet extend from the body and movable spines cover the shell. These creatures live in oceans all over the world and measure from one to four inches across. The spines of the typical urchins extends from 0.4 inch to 1.2 inches and aren't very sharp. But a Caribbean species has spikes that measure four to eight inches in length. Sea star. Scientists have renamed the starfish sea stars because they aren't fish. They belong in the uh, Ecinoderm category along with sea urchins and sand dollars. Some 2,000 species of sea stars live around the world from tropical habitats to the cold uh, seafloor. Some sea stars have 10, 20, or even 40 arms their bony hard skin protects them from predators. Some also have colors that either camouflage them or scare off predators. The sea star's nervous system runs through its arms instead of a brain. And instead of blood, filtered seawater circulates through its system. Did you know if a sea star loses a limb, it can grow another one? Great white shark. There was a story about a white shark in the news today, I think. The largest great white on record measured 21 feet in length. Although these are the most feared sharks in the world, most scientists agree that the great white's bad reputation is not deserved. Evidence shows that Great whites do not like the taste of humans, which the shark occasionally mistakes for seals or sea lions. Great whites inhabit uh, temperature, temperate coastal waters worldwide, and they are the largest predatory fish on Earth. Great whites can detect just one drop of blood in 25 gallons of water. They can smell a wounded animal in the ocean three miles away. Thank you for listening. Later on, I'll be streaming a story, My Awesome Magical Creatures. So come back later for more, and please share this with others who have children or others of your friends. Uh, if you're a child listening to this, thank you so much, and I hope you learned a lot and that you did find a way to relax in these troubled times. Thank you again.